In this lecture, we'll explore the life and monumental contributions of Aristotle, diving into how his observations reshaped the Western intellectual landscape. Diving right into the cradle of Western philosophy, we encounter Aristotle, a colossus in the realm of knowledge. Born in the undulating landscapes of Macedonia, the seeds of Aristotle's genius were sown. His father, Nicomachus, served as a court physician, providing a first-hand glance into the entrancing dimensions of medicine and science, a catalyst to Aristotle's intellectual evolution. With an early exposure to the interplay of Greek and Macedonian cultures, his intrinsic curiosity was nurtured and directed towards a panoramic spectrum of academic pursuits. The governance of Macedonia played an equally crucial role in feeding Aristotle's fertile mind. The atmosphere of dynamic politics and systematic societal structure germinated his thoughts on ethics. Observing the golden threads of order and harmony in the Macedonian society, Aristotle conceived his biological classifications, truly a mirror reflecting the inherent structure of his homeland. This intricate labyrinth of circumstances from his early days became the launch pad for Aristotle to rise and marvel the world with his theories, guiding us like a compass even today. At the heart of Athens, in the shadow of the Acropolis, stands Plato's Academy, the epicenter of philosophical musings of the time. As Aristotle strides through, the civil discourse here nurtures his intellect, delivering a buffet of ideas, including the high ideal forms championed by his mentor Plato. Yet a divergence blooms, setting the stage for a departure both literal and ideological. Aristotle begins to prioritize an empirical approach, breaking from the abstract principles of Plato. The cascade of raindrops, the leaf falling from the tree, these tangible observations underpin Aristotle's approach to discernment. Each observation ignites a spark in Aristotle, leading to the refining of his philosophical identity. Soon enough, the disciple surpasses the master, and the tables of mentorship turn. No longer a mere acolyte of Plato's, Aristotle's bold convictions thrust him into the forefront, redefining his mentor-mentee dynamics. As we trace this fascinating evolution from a devoted follower of Plato's system of ideal forms to an independent thought leader, we unravel the very core of Aristotle's philosophical journey. Torches are passed in this philosophical arena, and in the grand ballet of the Platonic Academy's hallowed halls, Aristotle gracefully takes center stage. A direct challenge to Plato's doctrine of ideal forms emerged from his own student, Aristotle. Born in 384 BC, Aristotle presented a formidable argument. Form and matter are inseparably linked. Taking the example of a horse, he disregarded the Platonic concept of an abstract hoarseness and instead emphasized its material existence as crucial to understanding its essence. This sharp deviation from epic metaphysical speculation towards the physical world brought a philosophical revolution. His focus shifted from the skies to the terrestrial, emphasizing empirical observation as the bedrock of understanding. The grounded nature of his approach marked a significant departure from Plato's abstractions, paving the path for a methodological shift that left its mark on future generations of thinkers. True to his words, Aristotle's theories were a living demonstration of his beliefs, especially in his zoological studies. His surgical precision in classifying organisms based on his direct observations marked the genesis of the scientific methodology that we know today. Even the minutest of creatures could not escape his observational might. This evidentiary approach laid the cornerstones of evidence-based conclusions in scientific research, sparking the flame of rationality that continues to guide us to this day. Aristotle ushers in a unique paradigm in education with the Lyceum, an institute standing as a beacon of difference amid academies' classrooms. It embraces a vibrant approach emphasizing outdoor instruction and grounding teachings in palpable experiences, fostering real and tangible grasp of knowledge. This diverges sharply from the static classrooms of the academy, marking a revolution in education. As we traverse the lively outdoors of Lyceum, we encounter peripatetic teaching. An innovative idea, it marries movement with learning, stirring both the mind and the body. With Aristotle's guidance, students translate their learning into action in real time, Empirical observation turns into knowledge, forever enriching their understanding. The legacy of Aristotle's Lyceum touches every corner of education, 
its ripples felt even today. The hands-on approach and the peripatetic pedagogy spark a spark of distinction in ancient education. Their impact is vast, influencing myriad fields, underscoring the resonance of Aristotle's unparalleled contribution. Emerging from Aristotle's discerning eye for detail was his unique empirical approach to ethics. The profound realization here is the correlation between societal interactions and individual comportment. Aristotle foregrounded human conduct in philia, roughly translating to brotherly love or friendship, as the pivot around which our ethical compass rotates. But ethical notions aren't standalone entities. They're cushioned by Aristotle's concept of the golden mean. Picture a scale with recklessness and cowardice on two ends. The equilibrium point is courage, Aristotle exemplifies, portraying virtue as striking a balance, judiciously avoiding excess and deficiency. Aristotle apprehended an interesting facet of societal interdependence. He distanced himself from the belief that virtues come pre-packaged at birth. Instead, he proposed that they're garnered via habituation, much like a sculptor chiseling out a masterpiece from an unprepossessing stone. The community plays an instrumental role, shaping its members through collective habitual practice. In essence, Aristotle perceived society as a furnace, forging virtuous individuals through repeated exposure to moral heat and hammer blows of corrective interactions. It is this emphasis on experience and empirical evidence that makes Aristotle such an enduring figure in the history of ethics. Aristotle's dedication to deciphering the intricate tapestry of life spearheaded new explorations into the realm of biology. Centering his focus on the marvel of species diversity, his novel categorization of animals from anima or the blooded to anima or the bloodless shed light on the multidimensional nature of life forms. He didn't confine himself to theoretical analysis. Instead, his penchant for empirical research was evident with practices of animal dissection and keen observations. A roadmap into the world of biological classifications, his work History of Animals marked a watershed moment in the annals of biology, sketching the blueprint for future taxonomy. The evolution of biology, however, is a collective progression anchored at various milestones, including Aristotle's systematic categorization. Our understanding of modern biology owes its genesis to this foundation. His botanical pursuits were enriched by the insights of Theophrastus, crafting a nuanced lens to view plant life. Newton and Galileo's ushering in of quantitative analysis broadened the horizons of biological study. Aristotle's theory of spontaneous generation, which theorized life birthed from inanimate matter, was a cog in the wheel of biology that Francesco Redi later refined. Thereby, Aristotle's influence continues to echo in the corridors of biology, reverberating through centuries. Aristotle's metaphysics breaks new ground, unraveling four key concepts, ousia, the grounding properties, and essence, the core attributes defining being. Next, he categorized experiences into actuality, like a mighty oak in the present moment, and potentiality, the acorn's latent potential to become an oak. Transitioning to cause and effect, Aristotle proposed four types of causality. Material cause, the stuff the object is made of, think bronze in a statue. Formal cause, the shape or form breathing life into the object. Efficient cause, the external element prompting change, akin to a sculptor crafting the statue. And final cause, the intent or purpose justifying its existence, possibly to honor someone. Aristotle also introduced the unmoved mover, something akin to gravity, initiating change without succumbing to it. For Aristotle, every material object we see today sparkles with its own potential, moving towards becoming what it was meant to be. A particularly compelling perspective when you consider its implications for the individual and collective human potential. Emphasizing tangible facts in his quest for the truth, Aristotle anatomized political structures into six key systems, monarchy, tyranny, aristocracy, oligarchy, democracy, and mob rule. His insightful portrayal of the middle class as a stabilizing force, pivotal in bridging the gulf of wealth disparities, unearths the pulsating anatomy of societal health. His deep study of 158 diverse city-states gifted Aristotle with far-reaching insights into the engine of democracy itself. With this firm grounding in empirical data, Aristotle set the stage for understanding political theory. 
Juxtaposed alongside, Aristotle's polis portrays a unity of citizens bound by shared virtue and collective good, a striking contrast to Plato's philosophy. His preference for practical governance, his respect for the middle class, and his critique of Plato's commendation of communal property bring a novel hue to political philosophy. Furthermore, his theory of distributive justice emerges as the embodiment of his political philosophy. It posits a merit-based allocation of resources to maintain harmony in the polis. Thus, Aristotle's empirical insights and philosophical ruminations mark a significant milestone in the evolution of political thought, paving a path for future political theories. Aristotle's gaze found fertile ground for intellectual inquiry in the realm of education and science. The cradle of his educational contributions lies in the foundation of the Lyceum, where learning was not restricted to mere text, but opened new horizons through experience, observation, and empirical evidence. It's intriguing to note his divergence from Plato, his mentor, asserting the importance of experiential learning methods. Grounded in reality, these methods nurtured critical thinking, urging students to question every hypothesis, scrutinize every claim, and seek vindication through reasoning and logic. Veering towards the scientific panorama, Aristotle emerges as a pioneer with his unerring pursuit of empirical evidence translating into tangible evolutionary strides. His dissection and systematic classification of life forms, studies on societal morals, all bore the hallmark empiricism in action. Moreover, his legacy manifests in the unification of philosophy and science, influencing a great mind like Aquinas and kindling the art of observation during the Renaissance. Finally, we consider Aristotle's scientific methodology, echoing a testament to his observational prowess and empirical devotion, a beacon that guided Galileo and continues to illuminate pathways for keen minds. Aristotle stands not only as a profound ancient philosopher, but also a beacon of scientific methodology, leaving an indelible mark on education and science. The key to Aristotle's enriched understanding of the world lay in his unique methodology. Beginning with careful and meticulous observations, he would draw out hypotheses. These initial postulations were refined, expanded upon, and rigorously tested to evolve into theories of exceptional depth and complexity, a process remarkably reminiscent of our modern scientific approach. Consider, for instance, the realm of zoology. Aristotle performed dissections to understand the internal structure of an organism. The visible features, as revealed by these dissections, were observed and recorded. From these empirical observations, hypotheses on the organism's classification were drawn, marking a critical first step in the formulation of comprehensive theories. Firmly grounded in empirical evidence, it is clear that this methodology was designed to gather accurate and relevant information about the world. Revolutionary in its own right, Aristotle's scientific methodology traced a path for subsequent Enlightenment thinkers, including the likes of Galileo. Therefore, not only did Aristotle pioneer ethical philosophy, but he also laid the foundational stones for the empirical approach in scientific exploration.